Hello, everyone. I'm Carrie Lazat, and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. This is the show where we talk to people in Bloomfield Township who are making our community a better place to live and to work, and uh, those who take care of us. And today we have special guests from the Bloomfield Township Fire Department, and I'm so delighted to introduce to you Kevin Cardinelli and Chris Hull. Welcome, guys. Good morning, morning Carrie. How are things going? Today's like a, you know, it's pouring rain outside. And is this the kind of day you look forward to as a firefighter when it's like really raining? Is that the kind of like you get all kinds of calls and things are happening? <laughs> it sometimes stays a little busier on these days, yeah. Yeah, and why is that? When it rains. I think the roadways are, you know, we get a lot of car accidents mm -hmm. typically on these types of days, and um, and for some reason the medicals seem to be springing up. Quite a bit this morning so yeah i'm sure yeah. well and it's so i think that people think of the fire department as like just responding to calls and going to fires all the mm -hmm. time but we know that that's like not most of what you're doing especially now so for kevin you have a new position tell us what your new job is i do uh, my new title is operations officer and uh that it's a dynamic role that is a new position in the organization mm -hmm. um the main thing I'll be doing is I will be uh, doing public information of a community liaison and recruitment type activities. Yeah. And so what kind of recruitment do you have to do now? I mean, it's kind of like ebbs and flows all the time, right? It, it is, yes. Um, so we have retirement. So there's mm -hmm. usually positions available um, throughout. So we typically accept applications all the time. Mm -hmm. and. I've only been in the role about a month now, and uh, what I've been focusing on is using Facebook. And um, we've I've done several posts with the help of your staff here, uh -huh. and uh, it's been really successful. We've got a lot of hits and likes and things like that. Right. And I think it's brought a lot of attention to the organization. How many are watching your face? How many on your Facebook page these days? Do you know how many fa followers you have? It's I believe 2,700. 2,700, and so I think police is like at seven or i think i was looking and they're almost eight thousand so we've got mm. some work to do oh yeah we'll catch yeah them, we're yeah. totally we'll ready to go <laughs> we're gonna go <laughs> after them um so let's back up and talk a little bit about uh you just didn't start this position you've been in with the fire department for a while now so I tell have. me how um when did you start and um how things have changed since you've been here i started in 1996 mm -hmm. 27 and a half years ago um, time flies, doesn't time it? Time <laughs> totally flies. <laughs> totally does, yeah. <laughs> One of the, the largest changes is our run volume. When I started, we were approximately 1,800 calls for service in a year. And uh, this year, we're set to do about 6,800 calls for service. You're kidding. That's like triple, practically. It is. Yeah. And not only that, when we started, we've always been a paramedic organization. Mm -hmm. But um, the last 10 years or so, we've been transporting. And um, that means we take the people to the hospital in our own vehicles, where before that we would have a private agency come in mm -hmm. and they would do our transport for us. So that adds a little bit more work to it, but it keeps the a lot more consistency and a, a lot more care for our residents. We get to stay with them the whole time. So yeah. it works out well. Okay. Um, Chris, let's talk about you a little bit. How long yeah. have you been here? So I started in 2011 here. Mm hmm so I'm coming up to 13 years here pretty soon. All right, so you're kind of new. In the spectrum of things, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so tell me what you've been doing as far as like, this is a special time of year for one of your campaigns and you yeah. are rep representing the fire charities, yes? yes. So tell me yep. the, whole, the whole name and how is it affiliated so with the Township? So it's our Bloomfield Township Fire Department Charities. Mm -hmm. um, I am currently the president of it. Um, tomorrow, we actually have our one of our big events, which is the MDA fill the boot. Mm -hmm. um, we've done that for. And these are like big boots, big boots that I got. There are, right? Yeah, there are yeah. old fire boots okay. that we yeah. use. Oh, cool. We All actually right. use fire uh -huh. boots. Yeah, mm -hmm. they've been sanitized and everything. So <laughs> yeah, I we, hope we so. do use our, our uh, old boots. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and we're out in front of the stores. So we're, you'll see us in front of uh, Kroger, uh, both of them in the township. And that's well where are they located? The, uh, the Maple and Lasser. Maple and Lasser. And Telegraph and Longlink. Telegraph and Longlink. My husband are like, is it your Kroger you're going to or my Kroger? Because yeah. we shop at different Kroger's. I don't know why we do that. But now, like, <laughs> yeah. I shop at his Kroger, which here. Anyway, so, sorry, go keep yeah. going. So we'll be there, Trader Joe's, mm -hmm. um, down at Maple and Telegraph. Okay. Um, Costco in the afternoon. 
and uh, a couple of Starbucks in the area as well. Yeah, and you make it a family affair, right? I do. So yeah. who comes out for you? My wife and my two daughters. Yeah. Um, it's been a tradition of ours. They were about five years old when we started, and now they're 18 and 20, and they will be there, Maple and Lasser Kroger is where we'll be tomorrow well, afternoon. I, you know what? Can you put up that comment for us, Steve? I think there's a comment out there. So from Lee Moss, Lee Moss, congrats to Kevin on the new role. Thank oh, you. Hi, Thanks Lee. Thanks for watching. So I think she's a resident here in the township. So, yeah, that's She cool. is. You do? You know her? I do know You Lee. do? Yes. Yeah, it's a small world. I know, um, I know her, too. So how do you know Lee? Um, her daughter, Esty, was born in my hands. You are kidding me. Oh, well. You delivered about, her baby? About two months before my daughter was born, uh -huh. um, I had the luxury of responding and helping them out. You have to That's tell awesome. the story now. We want to hear more. I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what's... I, I'd rather not tell the <laughs> story. Not tell. Lee, you let us know. What a good... What a good... Oh, Jose. Oh, Jose is saying, what a good tr tradition. He's talking about the fill the booth, though. Fill so booth. Yeah, where does great. the money go for the, for the charities? So it all goes to... All the money we collect tomorrow will go directly to MDA. Mm -hmm. so MDA we, is? A muscular dystrophy association. Okay, all right. So we've done this great. for... We're trying to figure out... Um, MDA has data back to about 2011. However, um, we've done it since we're thinking about 2003. Mm -hmm. It's been a tradition here. It's been a 70-year tradition for the fire service, though. 70 years. Yeah, so they started okay. in Boston way back mm -hmm. in 1954, Okay. I believe, and it's been one of the big fundraisers that the uh, IFF has been tied to. And then tell me what else, uh, what else do you do the rest of the year? So we have our big golf outing, which, mm -hmm. you know, is a huge event. Um, that I was takes, there this year. It was super fun. I was yeah, taking pictures. Yeah, that's a great mm -hmm. event. Um, we sell that thing out every year, and it's a, uh, it's a lot of work, but I think everybody has a, a great time there, mm -hmm. and we raise a lot of money for our charities. It's definitely a great time. It's a lot of fun, and yeah. it's a good reason for us to get out and spend some time together and make some money. and. Yeah, and it just gives people a chance to kind of hang out and have camaraderie with the rest of the department and other yes. other area, other people too, too and, in the township. And you brought up um, the fact that my kids and wife come out and do that event. Yeah. Well, traditionally, my dad's been coming out and doing mm -hmm. that event with us. So that's one of the great things about our organization is we're very family-oriented. Yeah. So my kids and Chris's kids know each other well. Mm -hmm. Whenever these events come up, our families get together. It's a lot of fun, and not just at the charity events, but we do other we do Christmas parties and things like that, and it's it's really great. Yeah, and it's a lot. It's a lot, of, it's a lot of families that come in for the fill the boot. It's a tradition where I've got pictures of you know little kids that are now big kids and mm -hmm. kids around the apartment now that we're doing it when they're a lot younger. So that's fun. Yeah, well, it's, what, it's cool to see. Well, hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow. And I have to tell you guys, we are getting the most views, most live viewers we've ever had. And I think it is actually due to your Facebook page. So uh, I know you've been doing some more and now it's like a live stream and there are people responding. Uh, yeah. What other comments do we have? Mike Klein, nice job, guys, from an old retiree. You know, you must know Mike. I yeah, you do. We know, we know yeah. Mike Klein very well. Okay, good. <laughs> and he did he work for us as well? He did. He did. He did. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, so, he was a lieutenant here. Um, so the picture I put up earlier, the one that was kind of advertising what was going on, was a, a car, and I think with the Jaws of Life. So we did um, went out and shot some photos with them recently. Um, I guess they were donated cars. Can you tell me a little bit about what? Is involved in that training and program because that's another thing that's in, like not really firefighting, right? When the typical when someone's thinking about firefighting, so tell me about what goes on. Right. So, basically, and in, in a nutshell, if it's not a police emergency and people call nine one one, we go. So uh -huh. um, it can be anything. We think the typical medical emergencies, fires, car accidents, but we go on all kinds of things. We assist people if they have a water leak in their house. We go to try to stop and mitigate the damage there. People get locked out. Anything you can think of. Um, but so in that respect, we have to do a lot of training. And um, one of the things we do is we do usually a large vehicle extrication training every year because it's something we do on a regular basis. I believe, don't quote me, but we're at about 280 motor vehicle accidents year to date. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I would guess about 10% of those we use the the jaws of life or the extrication equipment. Mm -hmm. So um, up at the training ground, we were um, 
I don't know all the sources, but we were donating several cars. Mm -hmm. um, they're General Motors vehicles, yeah. and uh, we were able to... Brand new cars, right? Brand new, brand new that are they've like offline, they've been tested, stuff, so... But, yeah. Okay. But they're brand new, modern, mm -hmm. modern vehicles. So you know how to get into the new car. We do. Right? Okay. And mm -hmm. um, that's a great bonus to be able to do that. We used to only be able to use the old cars from the junkyard. Well, yeah. that's not so relevant anymore. Yeah. Right, right. Um, I just want to remind everybody that if you wanted to ask questions, you can do that by typing them in to, if you're watching on Facebook, you can type the question in and we'll put up on the screen. It looks like, oh, we just have another friend. Who's this? <laughs> go on, uh, Dad. Oh, like, put the, the, go Dad and Mr. Chris. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well, I look forward to meeting you tomorrow. Is it Ka Cara? Kara. Kara. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, what is what is Lee saying now? She's just, like, put up Lee's comment. What does she say? She's Because she's the one that had the baby. The Moss family is always grateful to Kevin, Pete, and the Bloomfield. Um, <laughs> Bloomfield. Bloomfield 8, BH, B8, Bloomfield Township Fire Department for their top notch life saving and baby delivery services. Wishing you all a lovely <laughs> holiday season. Lee, we might just have to have you on, or we will do like a reenactment because I think that would be so amazing. I, he's going to tell me the story later, but when we're off, we're on air, off, off air. So, um, what is Amy asking? What time does the fill of the boot? Thank you, Amy, for that question. When does it happen? So Tomorrow. Fill the boots can be from about 8.30 till 4.30. We'll be out in front of those stores. Okay. And you guys do this on your own time. This is volunteer, right? This is right? all volunteer. Mm -hmm. um, everybody comes in on their own time and uh, braves the weather. And luckily, tomorrow's not going to be too bad. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a great time. Tomorrow should be good. Hopefully, 45 yeah. degrees is... Pretty reasonable. It is. It's pretty nice. Especially yeah. staying in turnout gear. That's, mm -hmm. that's sure, comfortable. Sure. Sure. All right. Well, look at all these comments coming in. This is so crazy. This is the best show ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Though it is, you you laugh. Bobby Poole, look at this guy. Didn't the Lowe's donate <laughs> to you guys? What does that mean? So uh, Bobby Poole is a manager of the Lowe's in our town. Oh, okay, right, right. And speaking of the extrication, yes. he did donate a large quantity of safety glasses that we were okay, using cool. at that vehicle extrication. So thank you, Bobby and Lowe's, for that. We yeah, appreciate it. They're big supporters of us. So yeah. Well, you know, and it, I think the fire department police, you know, you guys have interaction with residents that most people don't mm -hmm. usually have. And I think that the appreciation from the residents is really, yeah. they, they all come out for you. I know they yeah. deliver food. We sometimes, we won't talk about yeah. that. <laughs> but there's donations of all kinds that go on, and I think it's, I'm sorry, that's my little thing going off there. Um, what else What else happens around this time of year? I think you were talking about the gift, is it gift cards? There's a drive yeah, going so out with the gift card police department. Up now. You guys yeah, are working in? Yeah, we're working together, together. on that. Mm -hmm. um, in the past, we've taken those gift cards, and we usually buy <clears throat> um, Christmas gifts and uh, holiday dinners mm -hmm. for families in need throughout mm -hmm. the community. Yeah. Um, so it's been a really great program. And we're hoping to expand on that a bit more in the following years. Um, so tell us a little, a little bit more about if people want you. So now we have someone, you, would be available to go into schools or to do special programming. You can show up at um, the meetings that happen here. So are like, uh, what do they call them? The... Like neighborhood associating <laughs> Neighbor meetings? That's what I'm looking for, yes. Neighborhood associating meetings, they, you can come and... Uh, deliver information to them and talk to them about things, right? Absolutely. And mm -hmm. what usually happens is um, we plan on five minutes to talk, mm -hmm. and it ends up being 45 minutes because people ask so many questions, and one question spurs another. Yeah. So if you do have a neighborhood organization, mm -hmm. um, let me know. I'm glad to come out. Right. What about tours? Do they come, they come see the fire departments and like look at the Absolutely. fire trucks? The public's everything? always welcome to come in. Mm -hmm. if. You want a more in-depth tour? Call me, and um, we can set something up to make sure we have the appropriate resources there to do so. And it's the main fire number. Is that what they would call, or do you have a act? Do you have an email? I address? have my own uh, mm -hmm. extension in the office. You can call the main fire department number, which is two four eight four three three seven seven four five, or my office is two four eight four three three seven seven four seven. Either one will work. You'll be able to get a hold of me. Okay. But we always get pop-in visits all the time. Yes, yeah. it's, it's we welcome. Nice. It's, yeah, it's it's great. Breaks up the day, and you guys work twenty-four hour shifts. We yes, do. yeah, mm -hmm. twenty-four-seven. There's three battalions, and mm -hmm. uh, um, the, the stations are staffed twenty-four-seven. Mm -hmm. um, Chris, can you tell me a little bit about? I you know with the hiring that's going on, and it's a really competitive environment right now. So, what yes. makes uh, Bloomfield Township special for you? Why have you um, stayed as long as you have? We know it's 13 years, so it's yeah. good. that's a pretty good chunk of time. Yeah, um, you know, it's the um, the culture we have here. 
I think is a, a big one. You know, it's a very professional department. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, um, I'm on a little different plan where I have some benefits that the mm -hmm. others don't have. So that's one of the big things that's kept me here as well. Mm -hmm. um, but the culture and just the professionalism mm -hmm. in the community, you know, it's a great community. We've always had a ton of support here. So that plays a big part into, you know, staying. Mm -hmm. Um, and what are you looking forward to in your new role? What's what are you gonna what are you gonna be doing? It is a very different from what I'm used to, uh -huh. and um, <laughs> my whole life I worked shift work, and now it's 40 hours a week. So that's been an adjustment. But I'm really looking forward to letting the public know what we do and how much our fire department does for yeah. their community. And it's, it's not easy to sit here and talk about it. It's when you get out there and you sit in the meetings and people ask uh -huh. questions. I'm learning what we can do, what more things we can do for the community every day sure. just by getting out and talking to them because we haven't had that position to get out and be a liaison to the community. Yeah. Um, this reminds me, so we're going to talk about some safety tips, but I do, after we're done here, we have a beep going off in our kitchen, and I was like, there are going to be two experts Oh, yes. <laughs> coming to visit us that will know exactly what that alarm is. So as far as alarms at home, it's uh, the CO2. Is that one of the things that the, carbon, so it's monoxide. carbon monoxide so and the fire? What is it? Smoke like? detectors, smoke detectors. <laughs> fire alarms, smoke today. detectors, smoke detectors and CO2. So those are two things that people need to have in their homes. Right. So uh, I know we just did a video about uh, generator safety. So mm -hmm. what other you know, it's Thanksgiving. What other kind of things are happening now? Well, the biggest thing with Thanksgiving is obviously cooking. Mm -hmm. And we definitely recommend that you don't use the turkey deep fryers. Um, but if you do... You don't use it at all. Just don't Don't, don't your use it at in. all. It's not good. It's very dangerous. Okay. Um, Are they? Oh, really? it, They can okay. start fires, but mm -hmm. people can get burned. Yeah. Because if you're not careful and it splashes out or you mm -hmm. put the turkey in and it's mm -hmm. wet, it'll boil over. So, um, but All if you are problems. doing it, <laughs> okay. use protective yeah. equipment, mm -hmm. wear long sleeves, wear pants, gloves, eye protection, and do it away from the building, not in the garage, mm -hmm. in the driveway, away from anything that's combustible, mm -hmm. and keep the kids away. Yeah, that would, I, I can just see that that would cause a lot of problems, because everybody yeah. wants to watch that happening, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it is. Um, Our fire alarm calls definitely go up Thanksgiving <laughs> Day week. Do they? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And another big one is um, what's super important is stove fires. Mm -hmm. If your oven catches on fire and your turkey's in there or whatever it may be, don't open the door. Leave the door shut, shut it off, and call us. Don't try to open it and put it out yourself. It should stay contained in your oven. Right. So just keep it closed and call us. And don't put water on a fire, right? That's another Not one. on grease fire. Not on grease fire. Yeah, which I guess is, you know, just have to remember remember that because it's contrary to what you would normally think about how to put mm -hmm. up a fire. So, and I know we did, you guys did a great demonstration at the open house. Mm -hmm. So yeah. people can see the video for that. Yeah. Um, any other questions today? Any other questions or comments for our guests? Do you see anything? Um, I think uh, unless you have any more, do you have any, anything else you'd like to add? No, just we come, out. It all? All set. We're come out come out and support us tomorrow and you know if you see us stop and talk to us and we also have on the btfd charities facebook page mm -hmm. there'll be a qr code that they can uh, click on yep and that will go towards our total which we do get a little competitive with other fire departments when it comes to <laughs> i can't imagine no. we, we've actually been one of the mm -hmm. top in the state we haven't quite hit the, the who top, is but, beating us uh grand rapids grand rapids oh Marquette. but there's Marquette, really? Marquette, yeah, they do a big, yeah. uh, a big drive. Mm -hmm. Traverse City's always we're kind of neck and neck. Yeah. They've always been our, our competition. Mm -hmm. So well, Grand Rapids is a bigger, much bigger department, right? They, they're yeah. all over the it's place. It's a bigger so. community, a bigger mm -hmm. department. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, I know that um, I thank you for your service and everything that you do, and that yeah. I think that people will be coming out to see you. And uh, we want to just say Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, and um, be safe and. Uh, have a good one. Thanks for joining us.